Students enjoy scrambled sentences because they are interesting and fun. These increasingly complex forms of written language improve linguistic and grammatical competency. There are 12 student sets in each product. Each set has five color-coded sentences that give facts about a topic. The photo draws students into the activity. These examples illustrate how levels increase in complexity. The sentences in Level 1 are five to nine words long. They may contain some single adjectives, simple adverbial phrases, or possessives. It is advisable to let students work through a Level 1 series so they can develop strategies for putting the sentences together. First, the student sorts the words by color. The color determines the order of the sentences. Think Roy G. Biv. Colors follow the spectrum. This look like black. Black look like their feathers look like white, white shirts and black jackets. They spend most of their time in cold Arctic water. With my eggs in cold. Active involvement builds accountability. In most sets, students can select, complete, correct, and record their activities. They are eager to finish all sets in a series. In Level 2, the sentence length is 8 to 11 words. There are multiple adjectives and words in a series. The phrases get more complex, as does the vocabulary. Some scientists are alarmed because polar ice is starting to melt. Glaciers form in cold polar regions and high mountains. When winter snow does not melt in summer, glaciers build up. Level 3 is significantly more challenging. The sentences are detailed and often compound, and they contain sophisticated linguistic features. To put these sentences of 12 to 16 words together, students will need to organize words into phrases and link adjectives and adverbs to the words they modify. Using scrambled sentence sets improves fluency and provides opportunities for oral reading. Students also learn interesting facts about the topics in each series. Sticky saliva and tiny hairs on the tip's tongue. Tongue's tip allow chameleon to hold the prey. The tips for teachers issue on scrambled sentences explains fluency and how scrambled sentences teach students to group words into meaningful clusters. It shows examples of the reading manipulative levels. While you could make your own, it would be quite a challenge. Two other scrambled sentence products have color-coded parts of speech. This ingenious strategy shows how nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, conjunctions, and pronouns are used in sentences. Prepositional phrases are identified as adverbial or adjective phrases. The students use the codes to sort the words, and then they put the five sequential scrambled sentences together. 
Then, as they analyze the sentences, students see the function of words and phrases or their parts of speech. They become more adept at identifying and linking modifiers. Needless to say, he never got stuck in the tub again. Tell me about the adverbs in your sentences. Very tells how overweight he was. So tells how much. Once tells how often. In a bathtub tells where. Out tells where. Enough tells how large the tub was. Never tells when. In the tub tells where and again tells when. A Parts of Speech study guide is available on our website. The final column lists questions that each part of speech answers, as well as features to help students identify parts of speech. There are 18 sets of scrambled sentences per level. Each set has five sentences about a high-interest nonfiction topic. The sentences in level B get longer and more complex. Other than the does that point to nouns, can you tell me about the other adjectives in your sentences? Hans Augusto Reyes and Children's tell which books. Famous tells what kind of character Curious George was. Ray's tells whose life. His tells whose wife. Curious George tells which manuscript.